Are you sure? If you put your trust in Shomonkai, everything will be taken care of. Learn when to quit already. I'm telling you, I'll be fine. Are those ears for show? I see. Well, I'll leave you be for today. But should you happen to run into trouble, don't hesitate to rely on us. My name is Azuma. It's been a pleasure meeting you. <laughs> who the hell rely on you? Hmm? You're the kids who came to my street show this morning. Whoa! Do you remember every fan who comes to see you? <laughs> no, just a coincidence. Though I've seen you in the crowd pretty often, huh? I usually see you cheering by yourself, but you had a couple others with you today. But one of them didn't seem too into my songs. <laughs> oh, come on! It's not every day you get to hear Haru perform live! It's okay. Everyone has their own tastes, right? Trust me, it's cool. I don't mind at all. Oh, by the way, Haru, wasn't that man just now someone from the Shomonkai? Who? Him? Whatever. He came by and said, we'll help you if you're ever in trouble. If he wants to help, he'll do something about this blackout. I can't write like this. <laughs> I'm looking forward to hearing what you come up with. supposed to get back home now whoa check out the outfit on her is she cosplaying as something hey you were staring at me just now weren't you oops oh you like my costume I'm cosplaying to show it off so stare all you want but the truth is I'm wearing it because I had an event to go to yesterday even so, didn't you bring any clothes to change into afterwards? That's just because I didn't think I'd get stuck here like this! Besides, I didn't really go all out. It just looks like extra cool everyday clothes. Uh, <laughs> I guess. Anyways, do you know how to get home from here? I walked all the way from Shinjuku. You guys haven't found a way out yet, have you? Oh, okie doke. Oh, well, if you happen to find a way out, let me know. I'm Midori Komaki. Nice to meet you. Man, that was some girl. What? You didn't realize? I thought you of all people would figure it out, Atsuro. Hey, what's with the sarcasm? Wasn't she that famous cosplayer? I think her name is Dolly or something. I heard she's popular even among girls because she's not all stuck up. No way! R really? That girl was Dolly? Oh, that went right over my head. Damn, I should have asked for an autograph. Ugh, I knew mentioning it around Otakuro would be a bad idea. Otakuro? What's with that all of a sudden? What's wrong with being an otaku? These guys can't go home either, huh? But it looks like Sheba Park is one of the bigger refugee shelters around. There sure are a lot of people here. It's placed well for it. Sheba Park was built to completely surround Zojoji. The park has schools, hotels, and even libraries, so it's a natural gathering place. I see. And since it's next to Tokyo Tower, I guess it's easy to find. Look at all those people! There's nothing any one person can do, so they just hope for the lockdown to lift. Guess we're not the only ones having a hard time of things. Yeah, I hope we can all get out of the Yamanote Circle soon. Do you all know the story of the Tower of Babel? Man once attempted to create a gargantuan tower in order to become closer to God. Their arrogance was punished with an ordeal by which their language was divided. But through knowledge and technology, man 
has overcome these linguistic barriers. The internet we have today is the embodiment of this triumph. But now, man has once again become arrogant and God has sent us another ordeal. To withstand this ordeal, man must join hands with one another and stand united. I implore you all, stand with the Shomankai and withstand God's ordeal. That's the Shomankai founder making a speech over there. Cross-cultural communication is proof we've overcome the Tower of Babel, huh? But another ordeal's coming down the pike? It wasn't those demons in Aoyama, was it? Oh, I hope I'm just overthinking this. Hmm? Look, that girl! This misfortune has struck all the people equally. Everyone here is undergoing hardship. Let us stay calm and wait. Give generously of your effort and assistance. That's the girl from last night. She seemed weird then, but she's kind of cute, huh? I thought you'd say that. She seems to be your type. Come on, you guys. What's all the whispering about? You two are such goons. Hello, I'm with the order known as the Shomunkai. Can you spare me a moment? As you know, advances in technology have created new forms of mass communication. As these forms take hold, it is vital that we not lose sight of human contact. We of the Shomunkai aim to reaffirm the miracle of human contact in the modern day. How good that you agree! Come forth and hear our Founder's words, I insist! You mustn't be too forceful with your invitations. Oh! Lady Amane! We met yesterday. Allow me to introduce myself formally. I am Amane Kazuryu, a maiden of the Shomonkai. Are you not interested? The gods do exist, and it falls to me to hear their words. Man has, of old, distinguished between supportive gods and rapacious demons. However, the distinction is academic. At root, gods and demons are both otherworldly. You can hear their voices, behold their presences, can't you? Just as I'd expect from one who has mastered a comp, you can feel them. I have a question for you three. Where did you acquire those comps? A certain individual within the Shomonkai commissioned those comps. It isn't especially difficult to deduce who could have given them to you. The author of the program loaded onto those comps, perhaps. In any event, I believe we will see one another again. If you'll excuse me, farewell for now. You hear that? Yep. Question is, why would they commission something like that? Why would the Shomonkai want a demon summoning device? That stuff the Shomonkai says? How we have to band together because God's ordeal is coming? So they're going to make sure their own teachings come true? I can't believe them! This place is out too. It's so hot! My feet are killing me! Hmm, yeah. Getting around's pretty tough now that all the transportation is dead. I want air conditioning! When's the electricity gonna come back on? And I'm hungry. Atsuro, go buy me something. I can't walk another step. Jeez, you're selfish. Uh, what do you want? I don't care. We passed a convenience store earlier. Just get me something. Uh, fine, all right. I'll be right back. That was close. They almost shut their doors because there was no way to restock. 
What? Then... Take it easy. I was able to get some bread that was still there. Wow. Thanks, Atsuro. But this is more serious than I thought. Tokyo really is reliant on other cities. We'll be fine as long as the park still has water. But if that stops, we're in trouble. Damn it! The east side's completely blockaded too! We really are trapped in the Yamanote Circle. What are we supposed to do? Yeah, there must be a way out somewhere. Let's not give up and keep looking. It'll be tough if it's just us, but I'm sure we can share info with others to help. Yeah, you're right. What's wrong? Is something going on over at Bugaycon? I thought I heard something too. Is that... singing? Hey, that's one of Haru's songs. Let's go check it out. Aya. Oh! Haru! <gasps> it's too dangerous! Run! Yeah, come over here! What are you saying? That would be even more dangerous! Look how many demons are surrounding her! It's better if she comes to us! Oops, I guess I screwed up. <laughs> she doesn't look very worried. What's her deal? Hey, stupid! Stop mumbling to yourself and help us save her! Uh, oh, right! Run, Haru! It's dangerous! We'll take care of them! <laughs> no, it's alright. I can protect myself. Hmm? I guess it's out of batteries. <laughs> Uh-oh. This could be bad, Aya. Why isn't she running? Oh, damn it. We're gonna have to go to her. Let's go. My power? Wherever I go, it's demons. Why can't they just leave me alone?
hurt, you piece of... Huh? I'm not... dead. W why Why is she still alive? I get it. It must be the Harmonizer. So the Harmonizer affects not just the comp's owner, but everyone in its range. You guys, you should leave me here and run away. <laughs> uh, thanks, but don't kill yourselves in the process, okay? Yeah. 
Thanks to you guys. So you can summon demons too? Uh, um, yeah. But that's not as surprising as seeing you here. You were surrounded by all those demons and never so much as screamed. I'd have been fine by myself if my sequencer hadn't run out of batteries. You guys are demon tamers, but not like me. You use a different method. I summon my demons by singing in sync with the sequencer. Huh? You can summon demons too, Haru? So that's why you took out that sequencer a second ago. Did now you make your sequencer too then? Now ya? Who? No, I borrowed this from someone over six months ago. Yeah, Aya, the old leader of D.Va, lent it to me. The batteries are dead, so for now it's just a useless hunk of junk. But I still like to have it close by. Well, I'd like to, but they're all sold out of that kind at the convenience stores. Oh, can I have a look at the sequencer's terminal? Hmm? Uh, sure. Damn, it's no good. I thought we might have been able to use the hand charger to juice it back up. Well, thanks anyway. Were you worried about me? Don't worry. Even if it's not working, this is still like a security blanket for me. But a security blanket? <laughs> Don't overthink it. Oh, okay. So you first summoned a demon over six months ago? Man, you're way ahead of us. No, the first time it happened was about a month and a half back. Still, that's more experience than ours. We just started yesterday. Yesterday? You've come a long way in two days then. Amazing. That reminds me. Hey, you there. Yeah, I thought so. You've got this dangerous smell to you. <laughs> but I kind of like that about you. Well, thanks again. I'm gonna get going, but I hope we run into each other again. Of all people, who'd have thought she could summon demons too? I guess demons have been around Tokyo way before we knew about them. Yeah, looks like. The guys in Shomonkai seem to have been using demons from way back. Wait! Did you check Haru's death clock? It said zero last time, right? Woohoo! We really did it! We saved Haru's life! Aha! That proves we can change other people's death clocks too! <laughs> Isn't that great? Of course it is! Right? Hey, yeah! We might be able to up the readout for everyone who's trapped! Yeah! Hope it lasts! But I wonder how Haru summons demons using that sequencer instead of a comp. What's the underlying mechanism there? What do comps and the sequencer have in common that lets them summon demons? There you go, overthinking things again. Who cares about that right now? We just saved Haru's life! That's good enough for me! Even so, I'm a little worried that she didn't seem too thrilled about it. I hope it's just part of that cool, disaffected rock star attitude they all have. By the way, what did Haru say to you? A dangerous smell? You? Oh, really now? Hey, something's funny here. Yeah, I can sense a bunch of them nearby. Demons, huh? What should we do? Don't know, but it's too late now. They're behind us, too. We've got no choice but to fight. The air looks horrible over there. What is this feeling? It's awful. Was that a demon? Atsuro, look! A demon just came out of there! I guess that's how there got to be so many of them all of a sudden. If we don't do something about that, they'll keep coming! Yeah, 
Let's figure out what it is. And if it's possible, stop it. Isn't that a comp in the middle of the miasma? We can stop this comp! Yes! We have to stop the other comp too! Let's <laughs> go. 
This is it, huh? I think I'm actually getting the hang of this. Let's collect the other comp later. Whew! All done! Now, how could demons have come out of a comp on their own? What I want to know is, why is there a comp on the ground here? Well, someone got their hands on an altered comp and fired it up, summoning the demons. Huh? So whoever it was... I'm guessing they're not with us anymore. <gasps> oh, I guess the demons we summon come from somewhere, huh? You think there's a world of demons on the other side of the comp? There's no telling what's on the other side, but anything's possible. This comp might come in handy later. We should take it with us. Yeah, you're right. By the way, what's in those comps that lets them summon demons? Oh, I figured that out. It turns out the demon summoning program is a client. Client? Can you explain this in regular people words? Ha! <laughs> Same old yoo-hoo. Okay, let me explain this briefly. Programs come in two types. Standalone software and network software. The networked kind are made up of a host and a client. The host is just like it sounds. It's a program that runs on a server. The client, on the other hand, accesses the server to perform its functions. Sure, sure. All the client does is send a request to the server and receive the results. The server does the actual processing, so even a low-end machine can handle the client. So, basically, these comps don't actually do much. All the real work is done on the server, and the comp just uses the results from there? Whoa, you got it! Well, that's pretty much the gist of it. It's a way to let a simple handheld device access very complex functions. The comp has good networking routines, so it can let the server handle the load. Okay, I'm kind of getting it now. So where's this server thing? No idea. And there's no way to look for it now, either. If I could trace the packets, I might get a fix on it, but not with a normal PC. If we can get to the server, though, we can monkey with the demon program all we want. In theory, we could summon and dismiss demons at will. 
Come on, why do you have to be so boring? I think it's more important that we find a way out first. Yeah, yeah, I know. Let's go. Hmm? Oh, it's you kids. Don't scare me like that. Why am I here? Oh, uh, no real reason. Just taking a walk. Judging by the look on his face, he had to be here for a reason. Why here, though? Ugh, I'm going through withdrawal! Atsuro, you sound like you're about to keel over. What's wrong? It's internet withdrawal. A really bad case. I haven't logged on in days. What? How can you even think about that now? Ugh, you're such a shut-in. Laugh all you want. Ugh. Jeez. Speaking of the net, a girl in the class next to ours had her bike stolen. She made a pissed off post about it on her blog, asking her readers for info. And what do you know, some guy out there had seen the bike abandoned on the street. Pretty amazing, huh? Even a stranger might be a friend on the internet. Totally. It's not bad knowing you have a network of people out there waiting to help. A bike, huh? I could use a bike right now. We could just borrow one here. Uh, think again, Atsurong. Aww. The sun's already gone down, and we're no closer to a way out than this morning. Yeah, it doesn't seem like the lockdown's lifting soon, and night's a bad time to fight. Let's hurry and find shelter. You guys have any friends in the Yamanote Circle? Same here. All my best friends live outside the area. If I could just use my cell, I bet one of my friends could hook us up. I know what you mean. If I could log on, I could find a place in no time. Considering the situation, I'd assume nearby schools are in use as evacuation zones. If we don't hurry and find one, we'll have to camp out again. Is that all right? Well, I'm pretty tired from walking, so I really don't care where we crash. I just want to get away from the demons for a while and wipe off all this sweat. Well, no need to worry about rain, so how about the park? There will be people and water there. Whatever we decide, I'm starving. We only had bread for lunch. If nothing's coming in, does that mean we'll go hungry? Oh, cool. I'll help. Thanks, guys. Man, a lot happened today. Yesterday was a handful, but today was even more packed. Oh, the Laplace Mail, the auction, the Cathedral of Shadows. Whew. Yeah, those emails aren't a joke or a threat. They really do describe future events. No use wondering about that now. But more importantly for us, they've all come true. Well, we know that now, and our death clock went up after we beat that snowman. Yeah, if we get another one tomorrow, let's use it as a guide for what to do. Seems like demons have been around for quite a while. We just never knew it. We're fighting against the demons that appeared, right? But the only way to beat them is to summon other demons. I don't know. I don't like it. I know what you mean, Yuhu. But you don't want to die, do you? I think we'll have to make do with what we have until we find a better way. Yeah. It fuses demons together to make a new demon, right? Jeez, that's weird. Yeah, like if he and Yuzu merged together and became me. W what Join together? Leave us out of your nightmare fantasies, okay? Well, calm down. It's just an example. Well, if that happened, would the consciousness inside be mine, Yuzu's, or his? 
Well, they inherit abilities, so it sounds like they have the previous demon's minds. So you think I'd have both your memories and his? Weird. Even though it was my idea, I can't picture at all what it'd be like. <laughs> I guess only a demon would know for sure. I guess we'll have to get better with our comps. But how long will this go on? Now you seem to think this won't end anytime soon. If you've noticed, the comps have way more functions than they did when we got them. It's easier on the user to get used to all the different functions little by little. Did now you think so too? Is that why he's doing things this way? That's usually how they do it in games too. You start the player off easy and then... That's what I'm saying. Why did he drag us into this? There's no reason for that. Mm, I'm sure there's some reason. Oh yeah? Like what? Alright, alright. We don't have to talk about this now. We'll ask Naoya himself when we meet up with him. You're right. Sorry. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, good plan. It'd suck if we got attacked by demons in the middle of the night. Don't forget to charge your comps while you're at it. There are lifelines. Oh, I want to go home. Must be nice on those choppers, flying around and laughing at us from above. Don't say that! Anyway, a poison gas caught fire, huh? Right. It looks like we can't trust the government to help us anymore. Well, they can't exactly say the explosion was caused by demons publicly either. Hey, do you think the government really doesn't know that demons exist? That can't be possible. All these massive barricades and armed soldiers. They're keeping this place under watch 24-7. What else could they be preparing for? They obviously know all about this and are keeping the lockdown set on purpose. Huh? Oh, looks like today's Laplace mail has arrived. in Ikebukuro. 50 casualties? That has to be a demon, right? Probably. But 50 people? Is it because there are more demons than yesterday? Or is a much stronger demon coming? Hey, how many days do we have left? Then I guess whatever's gonna happen in Ikebukuro doesn't involve us. Hey, wait, didn't we just prove yesterday that the number of days isn't set in stone? If it can go up, it might go down, too. We can't let our guard down. Ah, <sighs> that's right. More than 50 victims, huh? I feel like I'm pretty used to fighting after yesterday, but this still makes me nervous. There's still a lot we don't know about demons. We can't get cocky fighting them. You're sure optimistic. Yuzu's right about this. Fighting demons isn't a game. If we lose, we die. So don't let your guard down. Our numbers say we'll die tomorrow, and everybody else has five days. What the hell's happening? Hey, 
you guys think we'll find a way out by tomorrow? I can't stand this anymore. Don't give up, Yuhu. I don't want to die. If we can't get out, then the three of us will change our destiny. Yeah. Oh, that reminds me. There was another email, too, about auto skills. If we can make good use of those, it'll definitely help us when we fight demons. Atsuro, stop assuming that we have to fight. Let's focus on getting home first. If we get outside the Yamanote Circle, we'll be safe and we won't have to fight. <laughs> well, you're right about that. So, what are we going to do from here? Walk around all over the place again? Higher than what? You mean, above ground level? Did those helicopters get you thinking? If we really could fly, we could hop over the lockdown barriers that way. Hmm, hop over the lockdown. Oh yeah, the highway, that's right! The road goes above the rail tracks, doesn't it? We might be able to get out that way. Maybe. The highway runs right along Shibuya Station, too. It's perfect for us. Yeah, it's better than sitting here doing nothing. <laughs>